to continue our study of the Fertile Crescent, which again extends from the Mediterranean Sea to the Persian Gulf and is shaped like a crescent, and then in between those rivers in the Fertile Crescent, um, the Tigris and Euphrates, you will find an area or region called Mesopotamia, and then in southern Mesopotamia, you will find uh, a region called Sumer. Well, Babylonian um, is just a little further north than Sumer, um, and the Babylonians conquered much of Mesopotamia, so all this area between the Tigris and Euphrates River. This was about in 1800 BC. It was a powerful city-state formed in Babylon, and the Babylon was the old Sumerian city on the Euphrates River. Hammurabi was um, Babylon's greatest monarch or king um, and conquered all of Mesopotamia. Hammurabi's accomplishments were he oversaw buildings and irrigation projects, he improved tax collection systems, he increased trade, which is very important to the economy of the city, and Hammurabi's code, which he invented, which was a collection of written laws. And it was uh, very thorough, and it was written down. So this is one of the um, first collection of laws. And this, his laws were basically an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. So if you did something wrong, um, if you um, cut off someone's finger, then he would cut off yours. So, you know, it was very harsh punishment, and um, the people learned to live with this. Now, the invasions of Mesopotamia became in 1595 B.C., and this was the Hittites that captured Babylon. Then the Kassites uh, were able to conquer this area, and then the Assyrians um, conquered the area and collected, uh, they're known for collecting taxes, enforced laws, built roads, and um, which linked the empire. Then the Chaldeans. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar was a famous Chaldean king. He re rebuilt Babylon into a beautiful city, and the legend says that his grand palace featured famous hanging gardens, and he did this for his wife to make her happy. Chaldeans revived the Sumerian culture and made advances in astronomy and mathematics. The next group we look at is, are the Phoenicians. Phoenicia was a western end of the Fertile Crescent along the Mediterranean Sea, and it created a wealthy trading society. Again, you see how important trading is in um, these societies because they're able to have a surplus of food, trade different items that they make, and then um, for what they need and build their economy. Phoenician trading ships sailed throughout the Mediterranean Sea and even all the way into the Atlantic Ocean. They founded new cities, and their major achievement was our alphabet, which has great impact on the world today.